Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode. Today we've got part two of Trials Prep and it's a 2K. Alright, so let's see what we do. We're going to do a little bit of a pre-paddle on the water just to get the body woken up. But first, finishing the smoothie. Let's get to it. why a pre-paddle is useful and not useful sometimes but now it's time to fuel up even if breakfast, uh, first breakfast was about four minutes ago so let's get to it and we've made it to the crew room for breakfast to fuel up after six minutes since breakfast oh yeah so we've got the breaded egg toast with some, somebody wrote 2k on it because today we're doing a little bit of a 2k for the 2k next week so it's a prep it's not flat out but it is stinging and prepping the body and like I said about the pre-paddle as well pre-paddles are to wake up the body and get the body ready for a harder thing in the morning or later on in that day but sometimes it can be detrimental to performance because sometimes it's like, oh, you have to wake up at like five o'clock and then go in the water to get off before racing and stuff like that other times you can wake up a bit later and some people like to be woken up early, some people don't, and their body can wake up faster, some people don't. So it depends on you. You do you, but now it's time to fuel up. Let's do this fuel, how are you? And now the warm up begins for the 2K. So what I like to do is get sweaty on the bike, then hop on the air, do some bursts, and then do the 2K. Oh, yeah.
outside walking after a little bit of a 2k there was getting too focused so you've got the GoPro angle but no other angles for the 2k but that's okay and blow cam. <laughs> the blow cam yeah not me the camera itself to capture anyone blowing up on the air but fortunately not looking back at the footage but it seems like everyone was on for what they wanted to be on for excellent news so I went 58 dead we had a couple of faster than that a couple of slower than that around there somewhere but all good training we've got trials coming up next week so hopefully we can all go faster than that and hopefully get a PR slash PB but we'll soon find out that is a week today approximately this time next Saturday so what do I do post 2k well it is after the 2k where recovery is very important the actual effort isn't inverted commas that much but it can be the rest of the day where your body is in shock essentially it's running on overdrive burning everything that you put in all the fuel so you have to make sure you're eating right recovering right good amount of rest good amount of fuel right now i'm probably going to get some some sweet stuff to re quickly replenish my glycogen stores that have been heavily depleted by such an extraneous effort science and words oh yeah but now finish off the warm down get some quick sugars in simple quick sugars and then see what else is for the rest of the day most likely fuel because food is fuel and most likely just chilling out until soup monday oh yeah and remember yam squad subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and have a good one